Hi everybody, uh, I want to show you how to make a website using GitHub and Code Anywhere and then deploy it on GitHub pages for free. Okay? <laughs> so before we get going, um, I want to make sure that you've added your, get your Code Anywhere SSH key to your GitHub account. So to get your Code Anywhere SSH key, you can click on your email address in the upper right hand corner and click get your public key and you can copy this public key copy the entire thing and then go over to github go to your settings go to your ssh keys and you can then add that in i already have a code anywhere public key added to my github account so i'm not too worried about it um the next thing that you need to do is create a new repository in github so if you click the little plus sign you can hit new repository and this repository I'm just going to let it go with Harry Octo happiness that sounds good for today this is going to be a demo of code anywhere and github pages it's public I always initialize with the readme no matter what and I tend to license liberally so I'm going to create this repository the next thing that I need to do is copy the SSH clone URL. You want to make sure that it says SSH. You can su su select HTTPS and subversion here. Don't do that. <laughs> Click the clipboard and copy that in. Now we return to code anywhere and we can make our dev box. So the first thing that we do is right click on dev box and hit add dev box. We are now um, shown a list of DevBox stacks that we can use. For this example and for any simple HTML site, um, sort of the kind that can be used at GitHub pages, we probably want to go with HTML, although if you know what you're doing, it's entirely possible to host AngularJS, Backbone sites, all sorts of these can be hosted on GitHub pages. Um, for our purposes, we're going to pick HTML5 and hit Next. and then it will give us a choice of Ubuntu or CentOS. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it to Ubuntu. I'm going to call this the CA um, GH Pages Demo. And I'm going to paste in that SSH URL. And I know that it's an SSH URL too because it does not start with HTTPS. Again, don't use uh, the HTTPS URL here. Um, if you do, you can run into some issues depending on how you have GitHub configured, especially if you have two-factor authentication turned on, which you should have. So use SSH. It's great. You'll be more secure. So we'll hit Create. And now uh, we just wait for it to create. Now that it's all created and it has uh, cloned out my files, I'm going to uh, do a single pane view <laughs> just because it's a little easier for the purposes of this demo. Um, we have some information about the box, like where we can uh, access it. Um, we can also uh, access it by right clicking and um, hitting run project which will bring us up the URL of the box. You can copy and paste this into another tab if you want, and I find it much easier often to work uh, by copying and pasting into another tab. But what we're gonna do here is so simple that it, it just doesn't even matter. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, create a new branch, and that branch is going to be gh-pages. gh-pages is a special name for branches on GitHub and that indicates to GitHub that it should try to deploy this branch to the GitHub pages service. So I'm going to create that branch and you see that it shows me now the um, that I have uh, created that branch and um, it has switched me to the new branch GH pages so that's good. Um, the next thing that I want to do is make a quick file this is going to be index.html. 
and then I'm going to write just a quick HTML file with a little hello world statement in it. So now that I've written that file, I'm going to commit my changes. When I commit, it gives me this error, which is, is actually telling me how to fix the error. So I need to enter my email and name in the git config. You're going to have to do this on every dev box that you create on code anywhere. Um, that's why it's a good idea to leave dev box running as long as you're using them, because if you kill it and then create a new one, you'll have to reconfigure git. So um, I'll do that really fast. Okay, made a little typo there, but fixed it. So um, now we should be ready to try to commit again, which I'll do through the menu just to show you again where it is. And we can see that that commit was successful. So then I will push. This, the branch is already selected GH pages. And we can see that it succeeded in pushing that branch. So now, if we come back to our repository and we go to settings, we can see that the GitHub pages section of settings has lit up and it successfully published this site to GitHub pages. So if we click on it, we now see our hello world statement. So there you have it. How to connect code anywhere to github create a new repository on github clone it to code anywhere add and modify files in that repository create the get the gh pages branch push that back to github publish the, the page on github pages and have it available at your gh pages um account which if you have your personal um domain attached to your personal github pages uh, user profile pages, then it also shows up as if it were under your own domain. Pretty slick. Thanks, GitHub and Code Anywhere. Bye.